the live audience can also fill that form. So tell us what you think and what you need from us. You can also enter into a 1000 uh, lucky draw uh, TNT uh, gift card. We are going to bring out some creative ideas. We talk about how to use, how to utilize if we have family members. Let's say they are adult children or they have parents in Canada. And if they're buying the investment properties, what are the opportunities of it? Yes. Um, uh, yeah. To emphasize your point there, uh, once a sale occurs, the tax consequences look at the ownership at that time and the disposition for tax purposes that has already occurred. Mm -hmm. So there's very little you can do. Mm -hmm. um, and even, even when you look at it on the eve of a sale, you're limited. Yes. Because our tax system looks at uh, when the value has accrued in whose hands. So it's really at the outset of acquisition that is the ideal time to look at structuring. And then during the course of ownership, there are certain changes you might make mm -hmm. that with an eye to a future sale that will limit uh, tax consequences. And there may be, and as I say, there are a variety of taxes that we would look at and it will depend on the circumstances. The biggest one is the capital gains tax, mm -hmm. which in Canada is 26.75% of the gain. Many people worry that it's going to increase. And um, I think it's a legitimate concern. It's a political matter. So I, I won't speculate on, on, on it. And I certainly don't know one way or another. But um, so sometimes we are triggering gains at a time when... We're not actually selling the property, uh, but we can trigger gains within a family unit where, for example, we know we have a principal residence exemption available, mm -hmm. or we know that the property has not gained in value at a certain point in time. We can, we can change ownership structures much more easily without tax to position the new owner who might have a fresh principal residence exemption available. Yeah. Um, so there are a variety of things. Um, we, we've also engaged in some transactions where we know there's going to be a sale in the relatively short term, but we're worried about increased taxes. And so we can trigger taxes or, or trigger a disposition that'll give us the flexibility to either report the gain or not at a time when we've done it, when we know what the tax rates are. Uh, as Chinese is your first language, but do you still prefer to use your second language to explain? I'll try it in English today just to practice. All right. Okay. I know you have bring in your colleagues, uh, Stephanie, right? Yes. Uh, Stephanie, everyone, say hi to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Stephanie Shi, who is an um, excellent uh, young lawyer, very industrious, and is instrumental to uh, our planning and implementation. Yes, so your face, Stephanie. Yes. I guess she's your student of learning Chinese from you then. Yes, yes, I, I've brought her language along quite well. Her, her Mandarin is improving. Okay, so if they have questions in Chinese, maybe she can try to use Chinese to explain yes. them. Okay. All right, you. okay, thank you, Stephanie. <laughs>